In this video, we're going to show you how you can show text in the pivot table values area. So here we have this pivot table where we have the product category field in the rows area and we have the products here put in the summation of values area. And as you can see here, we did not get an aggregation. So we didn't get a sum or an average or a max or a min. We didn't get a number, but instead we actually got the names of those products. And this is what we're going to show in this video. All right, so we're starting from our data here where we have the date, product, product category, region, and vendor. And this data is in an Excel table called TBL sales. And we're going to start by inserting a pivot table. So we're gonna go to the insert tab on the ribbon here and go to pivot table. And it's going to be inserted in a new worksheet. And there's a small tweak that we're gonna do here, which is that we need to add this data to the data model. And we're gonna click OK. So here is our pivot table and we're going to put the product category on the rows area here. And if we actually put the product column here in the values area, you will see here that we actually get numbers and not text values. And these numbers are basically the count of the products and it's actually the duplicated count. So it's the count including duplicates because we actually don't have 735 accessories. We have about five or six. So all these numbers are actually the counts including the duplicates. So this is actually not what we want to do because we want to show text and this is not achievable using the classic pivot tables. We're going to need to use a bit of DAX actually to show the text in the values area. So we're actually going to create a measure and actually our table has now become in the data model. You you can see here that if we hover over it, we'll see here that data source is the table TBL sales and the model table name is TBL sales. So our data is in the data model. We can also confirm that if we go to the data tab on the ribbon and go to manage data model, you'll see here that our table is in the data model. If we go to the diagram view, you will also find our table here. So it's a data model with just a single table, not your usual data model because data models usually have more than one table, but we're going to use that in order to reach our objective here. So I'm going to right click on our table here and click on add measure. And we're going to add a measure, a simple measure, and we're going to name it products here. And we're going to write a small DAX formula here. So we're going to use the concatenate X function and the concatenate X function is an iterator function in DAX. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about Power Pivot and DAX, you can watch my introduction to Power Pivot and DAX video. I'll leave you the link down below in the description. So this concatenate X function, what it's going to do is that it's going to iterate a table row by row. And then on a certain column, it's going to take values from that column and then concatenate them to each other, glue them to each other using a delimiter that you're also going to give it as well. So you're going to tell it which delimiter to use. So we're going to start with the table that we're going to iterate, which is going to be TBL sales, which is going to be the table containing our data here. And then the expression is basically where you're going to give it the column where it's going to get its values. So the column is going to be the product column on the TBL sales table. And then the delimiter is going to be a comma and then a space and that's all between double quotes because it's text. This is our formula for now and the formatting is going to be general and let's check our DAX formula and as you can see here it doesn't have any errors so we're going to click OK and see what we get here. So we get a measure called products. If we drag that measure to the values area you can see here that we actually get text but there's a small issue which is that the products are actually repeated. They are duplicated so in order to make them not get repeated we're going to do one more tweak to our formula. So we're going to right click here and go to edit measure and we're going to edit our measure. And for our first input here on the concatenate X function, we're going to use the values function and the values function, you can see here the description and it says when a column name is given returns a single column table of unique values. So basically we're going to use the values function and we're going to give it a single column which is going to be the product column on the sales table. And it's going to turn it 
into a table and it's also going to extract the unique values from it so it's going to be a table with just a single column of the unique values of the products and this is going to help us to get the correct results without duplication so we're going to use the values function here and we're going to feed the values function the product column in the tbl sales table you can choose it using the tab key on our keyboard and we'll just close the bracket here for the values function and I'm trying to increase the size of the font here so you can do that using the mouse wheel and control on your keyboard so basically we're giving the values function the product column on the sales table and then the rest of the arguments are going to be as is and let's check our DAX formula it's okay and we're going to click okay here and as you can see here we now get the desired result where we have the products with a comma space between them and without any duplication as well so we can also remove a grand total row from this pivot table because it doesn't add any value here so we're going to select any cell on our pivot table go to design and then on grand totals you're gonna click on off for rows and columns and this will remove your grand totals if we even add the vendor here to the columns area of our pivot table you can see here that we do get the products that were sold by each vendor we get only products that were actually sold by each vendor so you can see here we don't get all the products under all the vendors but we get only the products that were actually sold so for example under LX Sphere, we get only phone case USB-C cable and power bank although we actually have more than these products under the accessories category and if we check our data actually and filter for uh, Alex Sphere, so uh, if we filter for Alex Sphere here and under the accessories category we'll see that we only have phone case power bank and USB-C cable which are the products under Alex Sphere. All right so this concludes our video today I hope that it was informative for you and let me know if this trick is going to be useful for you at your work for example let me know below in the comments and also if you're interested in diving deep into power pivot and data modeling in excel and supercharging your pivot tables with dax formulas then you can check out my excel power pivot and dax course for beginners i'll leave you the link with a special discount down below in the description and please make sure to like the video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all future videos and make sure to also follow us on our social media i'll leave you the links down below in the description thank you so much and i'll see you on the next video